Hey guys, what is up? It is Noah. Welcome back. Today we'll be reviewing uh, Killer Monger. And um, most he actually comes with some different hand gestures and uh, items. So we're going to go over the scope, the paint job, the articulation, and then we're going to measure them out. So uh, let's start with the uh, sculpt, I guess. The sculpt's really nice on this figure because it comes with very nice detail. I love how they did the necklace. They did the face really well. This figure has so much sculpt on him, like, with these lines. If I, can, if I can get that better in the camera. Yeah, he looks a really nice figure. It's it's a really... I like this figure and how it came out. I've just never been a big fan of the Black Panther. Or, like, his villains. Like, um, Killmonger or the Claw. Sorry. Um... And it's a really, it's, they did really nice sculpt with the muscles and everything. And I just, I like the lines that they do with the face. They even cover the face with the, the gold lines. I like the eyeballs, how they did that with the gold. Looks really nice there too. Now let's go over the part, um, the uh, paint job, sorry. He comes with these kind of leopard spots, if I could show you that at all. He comes with leopard spots on the leg. And it goes all out through the body, and and it stops at the neck. But the leopard spots really add on. It looks really cool. At least that's what I think. He does, it's just some more metallic gold. And then it's just this kind of shiny uh, black. It's not more, it's not metallic-ish, but it's more just shiny, and it looks really cool on him. Really fits this figure a lot. On to articulation, his, he does have ab crunch. He does have waist swivel. He does have thigh swivel, no calf swivel, uh, but he does come with double jointed knees. This goes all the way back. Uh, his foot can go up this far, back really far, and he does have a little bit of ankle pivot. Um, his wrists can move really stiff. Like when you get these figures. Most of the other joints are not really that stiff, but the wrists are because they've been in there in the packaging, and it really doesn't like to move that much. But he does come with double jointed knees. He comes with butterfly joints, so first new Marvel Legends figure that came with butterfly joints. I know the Black um, Black Spider-Man did come with butterfly joints, but he was an old Marvel Legends. This is a new one. That's kind of cool that they actually added that on. His head can go down this much, back this much, and that's pretty much it. So, um, let's look at his accessories now. So, Killamonger comes with two swords, or, uh, this one's a spear. I don't know, it kind of looks like a short spear, like the stick short, but the, the, um, knife, the blade is really long. And it comes with this kind of weird, like, I, I call this the, um, Jason blade, you know, Jason Voorhees machete. Like, this is like a, like the Jamaican machete. <laughs> um, don't try to be racist, sorry. Anyways, he comes with an open hand and a closed hand to hold the weapons. And uh, that's basically it. I do like the detail on the um, spear because they do go around with this rope. And I like how they did the silver. And it adds, it all adds up to be a really nice, nice item to have for this figure. This one doesn't have much detail except for the holes up here and how they did the line through, I guess, the crease through the uh, sword. But the um, the handle has this kind of tie around it. It ties around. I can get that better. If you can see that a little bit, it ties around. It looks really nice. So this figure stands about 7 inches. Yup, he's, nope, 6 and a half inches tall. He's a very cool figure in my opinion. I do like this figure a lot. Just never been a fan of the Black Panther. It wasn't one of my favorite superheroes, but he's a very cool superhero in my opinion. But, um, alright, so like, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye! Oh my gosh, why won't this ever stop? Bloopers. Meow, 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 meow.